I'm Harold Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes from Jude, who wants to know how I was able to live for so long without becoming a fishman. Now, there were a number of assumptions built into this question, which I shall endeavour to dismantle with an abundance of care and caution. Uh, first off, it's not really accurate to say that I uh, have lived so long. I have been reanimated. I'm, I'm not immortal. I'm only human. Of flesh and blood, I'm made. But many people have made the mistake of assuming that I somehow have been granted immortality, when that's really not the case. I was just the victim of a certain amount of Canadian magics, which it doesn't really bear going into right now. And, and as such, my actual life has only really lasted either 54 or 8 years, depending on how you count these things. And as far as I'm concerned, that's all well and good. You see, I, I have no desire for immortality. I have tasted death ever so briefly, and while I certainly would not recommend it for myself or anyone, I think there's something about death which shouldn't be avoided altogether. Death gives us some sense of borders and meaning to our very existence. It's, it's like the bounds of a canvas or the silence between songs. Death, by its absence of all that we can do, all that we can be, allows us to be and to do with a degree more freedom, a degree more meaning than I think would exist if life just stretched on and on and on and on. So that is my thoughts as regards death. And as to the other matter, this question of uh, aquatic existence, if becoming a fishman was the only way to secure longevity, well, you are welcome to it. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.